Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am in Rome. As you guys probably know, the city is famous for its culture, its history, but most importantly for me, its food. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some must eat dishes whilst you're in Rome, some amazing street food, some pizza, some pasta, and much, much more. Stuff in this video is gonna be things that you do not want to miss if you are coming to Rome. I'm gonna be hopping all around the city today, guys, showing you some awesome food, showing you some awesome sights, because life is too good to not enjoy the food this beautiful city has to offer. So with that being said, let's head off to our first delicious spot. First spot guys, you can just about spot it there, it's called Trapezino. Let's get closer to it. This place has become super famous within Rome. As you can see guys, loads of queues. Looks really busy, hope it's worth it. So I'm gonna get into the queue now guys. It's super, super busy. I think it's always, always busy here. People queue here for ages to get one of these. Go inside, let's try it. Right guys, so I've ordered two of the most popular items here. So the namesake of the place. I've actually got myself a trapezino here. And then I've got a really, really popular street food, the king of street food in Rome. I've got a supply as well, so I'll go over both. But let's try this first. This is actually on the specials. It's not one of their classics. This has got some burrata cheese, some zucchini in there. This looks cute. It's warm. Right, so burrata is an Italian cheese and zucchini going on there as well. This is my first bite in Italy. The chew on the bread is absolutely delicious. It's crunchy, it's chewy, it's aerated really well. I did not expect the insane crunch and the chew to the bread. The bread is absolutely delicious. I'm moving on to the soup leaf. These are normally made with risotto rice. They're actually fried, they're breaded. They normally have ragu inside. One for a special which has, I think, zucchini inside with some mozzarella in there as well. Oh, this looks really good inside, really vibrant. Lots of colors going on, lots of risotto right now. Can see the zucchini, super popular street food here in Rome. Mm. It's crunchy, it's flavorful, and taste of tomato. I love the risotto rice, I love the bread, it's got a really good crunch to it, really good flavor. This would make an awesome snack if you're just walking around Rome, looking at the sights. This one, you see these everywhere. Definitely try a soup plate. That was my first spot. We're now gonna go get some pizza. If you're coming to Rome, you have to try some pizza. Let's make our way there now. Okay guys, so next stop is Bonchi Pizzerium. Really, really popular with locals and tourists alike. What you'll notice in a lot of places that I've showed you today are the queues are like super long, but for one of the best pizzas in Rome, I think it's worth it. So we're gonna queue up, get the food, and I'm gonna show you why these guys are so famous. Yeah, really. yeah that's great, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Right guys, I found like a little perch outside a trapezium. As you can see, the queue is still super massive. So I actually got a few different things, things that you must try if you're coming to Rome. Right, you guys can just take a really quick look at that. There's three different things there. I've gone for something called a pizza bianca, which I'll explain what that is in a second, why it's so good. I've got um, a pizza with just like a tomato base, and then I've got one with aubergines, which I love, and there's some cheese there as well. Oh man, I can't wait to suck it because the smell is so good. The smell is so good. Let's go for, do you know what? Let's go for the one with the tomato base first. First thing I'll notice straight away, the aeration on the side there is insane. Really hot, it feels, she gives a crispness to it. I hope there's a crisp and a chew. Oh my. This epitomizes Roman cooking, regional foods, seasonal ingredients made very simply but super bold flavors just made amazingly amazingly well nothing complicated there but absolutely delicious oh 
what I should say, this pizza, what they do here, which is super common actually in Rome, is they actually weigh the pizza and then they charge you accordingly. So you go in, you indicate the size of the pizza slice that you want. So just like this, right? So <laughs> you indicate the size of the pizza that you want. They cut that pizza, they weigh it, and then that's how they actually charge you. So I've gone for like pretty sizey slices, really. I've gone for quite a lot because I had a feeling it would be good. This is another dish which you should try. It's called a pizza Bianca, so incredibly simple. What it has is the actual pizza base with a little bit of rock salt and olive oil. That is it, that is all they have on it. But here is some of the best bread I'll ever have. Chewy, again crunchy. The rock salt in there, some olive oil, it's got a bit of tang to it. This guy is probably the nicest bread I think I've ever had. Of course, it's not a bread, but it kind of tastes like a bread. I feel like I can dip it into some soup. Delicious. So we've had a little bit of savory food. What I'm gonna do now is make a tiny little pit stop and have something a little bit sweeter before going back to the savory stuff. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite spots in Rome and somewhere I think you should not miss if you're visiting the city. So this place, guys, unmissable. There's a few things I wanna show you guys when we go inside. Okay, so we've come inside, I've ordered my food. So this is what I would suggest getting here. They do a ton of stuff, they've got hot and savory food, but these are what I think you should get if you visit. So these are actually a fried pastry with a creamy filling inside. Often it's got some level of ricotta in there. We've got some pistachio on there too. And then something this chap has given me, I've never had this one before though. So this one is actually new. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. So it looks like a pastry. I think there's some chantilly cream inside and a dusting of icing sugar. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to try that. And if you're coming to Italy, you've got to get yourself an espresso. I don't know what it is about the coffee in Rome. It just seems to be 10 times stronger than everywhere else. Let's now go for the cannoli. Good as I remember. You've got some crunchiness from the pastry. Good texture, that. You've got a beautiful, creamy, slightly cheesy filling there. Some nuts to give it a bit of earthiness. That is a great snack. I could honestly eat so many of these, just one after another after another, but we've got a lot of food to eat today, so I only picked one. I only went for one. Let's not go for this. This, however, is very new. If it makes it into the video, it means I like it. If it doesn't, then it means I don't, so. That might be even better than the cannoli. The cream in that is absolutely to die for. I think that was one of the best cafes you're gonna find in all of Rome. Now that's done, I think we're gonna go maybe get some pasta, maybe get some more pizza. I'm not totally sure yet, but uh, we're gonna go now to so stick around. So I've got a list of places that I wanna show you, but honestly, these little side streets, I could just walk around all day finding stuff all over the place, hot food, cold food, all sorts of food. But I want to show you guys the best. I don't want to just walk into anywhere. It could be a tourist trap. You never really know, do you? But anyway, enough talking. Let's get some more eating done. So on a quiet little lane, I found a restaurant which specializes in the next dish that I want to show you guys. Something that I think you can only get in Rome, special to Rome, something you cannot miss. Let's go inside and show you what I'm talking about. To be fair guys, it looks pretty good. Google says this place is awesome, so I think we're going to sit down, we're going to order our food and get the dish that I'm talking about from here. The food here is so good, but it's so hearty, it's so filling, but somehow I am still hungry. I am still hungry. This city has got some amazing places and there's so many more to go. I'm ready for the challenge. Right, so the next dish I was hoping to show off to you guys called the Cacio e Pepe. It's actually a very simple dish, but made well, it's delicious. It actually trans directly to cheese and pepper. Super simple dish, full of lots and lots of cheese. There's some pepper in there as well. The sauce is made of the water when you actually cook the pasta. So super simple dish, but hearty, delicious. I cannot wait to tuck into this one, guys. Guys, the amount of flavor they pack into such a simple dish. You've got a little bit of peppery kick from the actual pepper. You've got a deep, rich flavor from the cheese. The pasta is some of the best pasta I've had in a very, 
very long time. It's got a really good bite to it. I wouldn't say it's quite al dente, but it's not like overcooked at all. It's got like a lovely, lovely bite to it. If you're coming to Rome, right, you have to try this dish, guys. This is a must try. Full disclosure, guys, I had not been to this restaurant before. This is the first time. In my head, I was like, if it's good, it'll make the video. If not, then it won't. This is definitely making the video. Also, little tidbit, I tried making this at home once. It did not come out right. It looks like a simple dish. It's not. If you're coming to Rome, there are plenty of chefs in Rome that can make an amazing pasta dish. And this is specific to Rome. So if you come in here, try this. That, guys, was so good. What we have to do is move on to our next dish because there's lots more to come. Let's get out of here. Like I said, there's so much to eat, so much to do. We've just got to move on. But uh, yeah, that was awesome. So I'm sure a lot of you've noticed a lot of the food in Rome, a lot of the delicacies are actually veggie friendly and there's a lot of seafood as well. What I'm going to do now actually is get some meat. I kind of fancy some meat, I haven't had any all day and um, do you know what, I've done it again. I've walked past the same uh, gelateria. I think I'm just going to have to get some. Stay around guys because I know I said I'm going to do meat next but I'm going to be quick, I'm going to try it and we'll see what the hype is all about. So I love, love, love the gelato in Rome, but what I'm going to do is actually try and go here because I've heard lots about these guys. Apparently, they are awesome. Let's check out the flavors. Hello, what do you recommend? Because there's so much I want to try. There's so many flavors, it's hard to recommend. <laughs> Let's go for crazy. What are the crazy flavors that you have? Dark chocolate blue cheese. Let's do it. So the gentleman's kindly given me uh, dark chocolate and blue cheese. I'm going to buy lemon for sure. That's amazing. What's this one? Pine tree. Pine tree. Christmas tree. Pine tree. That's interesting. I think I'm going to get that blue cheese and dark chocolate and a scoop of lemon if I can, please. Guys, I found a cute little bridge actually just outside the uh, Gunter ice cream place. So the lemon actual sorbet, every time I come to Rome, I pretty much get it every day. It's so refreshing. The flavors in there are quite funky. You heard from the guy. This is actually a chocolate and um, dark chocolate and blue cheese. Dark chocolate and blue cheese. Full of flavor. We're coming to Rome. It's gonna be hot. Let's keep it real. It's gonna be hot. Make sure to get some gelato. Guys, there's an absolute ton of options outside the main station of Rome, Termini Station. But what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to stick to the traditional Italian food. So I'm going to get pizza. This time, I'm actually going to get some meat on it, which I'm looking forward to. In another video, I'm going to cover lots of international food in Rome. But for this one, I'm sticking to the Italian food. So it's right there behind me. Let's go inside. Let's check it out. Oh, I see pizza. I'm happy already. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've got my uh, pizza. Let's take these bad boys off. So pricing wise, I think that's actually pretty good guys. It's 682 if that can actually focus. I think that's pretty good because I also got a Fanta and I also got a water. So I think that's actually pretty good. It's good to get some meat in. So this one, honestly, no idea what it is. It's a pizza with beef mince inside and some cheese. And then this pepper and onion one looks absolutely beautiful. So I thought I'd try both. Love that it's cut to weight. Absolutely love that. Because then you can have as much as you want. Oh, feels good to get some meat. Cheesy, meaty. It's come out really, really moist. Mm. Crunchy base is delicious. It's buttery. Fanta is like my holiday drink. Next we'll try the peppers and onion. That pizza was I think one euro and 77 pence. That is delicious. One thing they nail here guys in Rome is the base is so unique. It's got a crunch on the bottom but a little bit of chew. Fresh, delicious. I need to explore outside because there's so many options here. This is so good.
If you're coming to Rome, you're probably going to want to see the Colosseum, one of Rome's most magnificent historical sites, of which there are many. However, there's actually a cool little restaurant nearby. It's walking distance. I'm going to show that to you guys now. It is so, so hot today. I think I need another coffee, but a nice one. No espresso for me, guys. I think I need an iced coffee. But anyway, let's show you this restaurant. Right, guys, so we've got here. It looks like it's closed, contrary to Google, but we move. Let's carry on. Let's find the next place. So next spot is just down this lovely little lane. I'm gonna try something that isn't typically Roman, it's actually not from Rome, and that's tiramisu. Firstly, because it's one of my favorite desserts in the world. Secondly, it's become very popular in Rome. I don't think you can come here without trying tiramisu. Typically, tiramisu does have alcohol in it. However, this place, super famous, really well known, and bonus, doesn't have alcohol, so I can actually have it. So we're gonna go in now. Let me just quickly show you around and get that tiramisu. So it's called Pompey. I think they've got a few different branches, uh, but this is the one that I like. I've been here before, and uh, I'm just gonna quickly go in. Thank you. Just quickly show you some of the desserts, but I'm gonna get tiramisu because I, I love tiramisu, but I'm just gonna really quickly show you some other desserts if you're in the mood for them, really. God, they look good. They look really, really good. I have to say, they look unreal. What is this green thing? I might, I might get two or three, I don't know. But uh, let's get what we came for. Guys, so they do classic, but they also do flavors. I've got a strawberry there. Thank you very much. So let me show you a quick shot of the different flavors. Strawberry, fruit forest, oh, caramel, that sounds good. Pina colada, some good stuff. But uh, I've gone for strawberry and classic. Right guys, so I've got both my tiramisu's was allowed to uh, film too much inside, which is fair enough, they're shop. Um, and I wasn't allowed to eat inside, so because they have no seating, not because they don't like me. <laughs> so let me just find a little spot somewhere and show you these tiramisu. All right, guys, can't really find a spot, so we're gonna do it here. We're gonna go au naturel, we're gonna go nice and rustic. Let me, <laughs> let me just show you the tiramisu, so strawberry and classic. Obviously went for classic because, do you know what? This, guys, is heavy. I've been lugging it around all day. Um, I have all my stuff in there. So I've gone for classic because it's one of my favorite desserts. I've got to do it, but then I thought I'd get a, Hello. but I thought I'd get a funky flavor as well. So let's just start with the classic. Gotta go for classic. Uh, let's get, oh, let's get nice and deep in there. If I can just show you guys. So uh, it looks good. It's quite deep actually, it's deceptively deep. If that isn't the best tiramisu you will ever have, then come find me and confront me. <laughs> That is so good. So rich in flavor. So much coffee going on. The cream is light, beautiful, flavorful. I could eat that every day of the week. Moving on now to the strawberry. Thought I'd get something a little bit funky, why not? Oh. oh. The added acidity from the strawberries, perfect. It's like the lightest, tastiest, cream-based dessert you're gonna find. And what's good is because they're quite big, but because they're light, you can have lots of carby food, pizza, pasta, but then you'll always have room for this because it's so light. Even the soaked cake fingers inside, they taste so light. Ah, oh, it's one of my favorite desserts, one of the best desserts in Rome, if not the world. You need to get this, man. Honestly, guys, I only just scratched the surface with food in Rome. This video, I want it to be about the traditional food in Rome, which luckily for me, a lot of it happens to be vegetarian. So I'm filming another video for all of the international halal cuisine of Rome. This video was more about the traditional dishes, uh, the regional dishes, the seasonal stuff that they do, the stuff that if you're coming to Rome, you can't really get elsewhere. So I wanted to highlight that kind of stuff. So really, we sort of traditional Italian and Roman cuisine. The next video is going to have for example, if you're on holiday and you've had lots of pizza and pasta, but you fancy like a kebab, or you fancy some fried chicken, or you fancy like a burger, that video is gonna focus on that kind of stuff. 
which is there is a lot of there's lots of really really good halal food in Rome that I want to show off to you guys if you want to see that make sure you hit subscribe so when I upload the video which will be in the next couple of days I believe it will go live and it will go into your subscription box so you don't miss out on that video also whilst I've got you I've got lots more coming so I'm going to Germany to do like a German Donner kebab sort of tour Berlin is supposed to be really really cool for kebabs I'm going to go to Athens Santorini Barcelona I'm going to find the best food and of course it's all gonna be halal as well so you can make sure to eat it if you're watching this video like myself you only eat halal food you want to go to these countries you want to explore however sometimes you may feel restricted you may feel like you can't eat food because it's not halal my job is to find all of that food for you so if you like that kind of stuff yeah make sure to join the journey lots will come in but guys that takes me all the way to the end of my first video in Rome there should be something else on the screen if you do want to check it out please do but I'll see you all in that next video bye 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 bye